Welcome to our lecture online. In this video, we're going to talk about a very useful tool in statistics and probability. It's called the tree diagram. And in this case, we're going to represent the tossing of two coins, both a dime and a quarter. So what does that look like? Well, if we're going to toss them together, we can ask the question, what are the possible outcomes? And in this case, there will be four different possible outcomes. So here what we do is we first indicate the possibilities for the dime by itself. So either the dime can be heads or tails. And then if the dime is heads, then we have two possibilities for the quarter, heads or tails. And if the dime is tails, then there's two possibilities for the quarter, heads and tails again. So then if we combine or then we look at all the various combinations, we can have as four possible outcomes, head, head head tail, tail head, and tail tail. So these are the four possible outcomes. We then indicate that there are therefore four branches, and if there's four branches, there are four outcomes. We then also can indicate the sample space. The sample space is these four possible outcomes, and notice that in this case, each of the four outcomes has an equal probability of occurrence. That is not always the case, and we'll see some examples of that later. So at least that's the way we want to look at it. It shows that we first branch out and show all the possibilities for the first, the dime, and then all the possibilities for the second coin, the quarter. And then we look at all the various branches. We can see we have then in the end four possible outcomes, and then the four possible outcomes then indicate that's the sample space. And that is how it's done. 